Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm on the floor, please. Okay. You were off yesterday, right? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was. <laughs> okay, good, good. Nice. You know, it's, it's always good when the person corrects himself. That means that you okay. have the right form. Good, very good. Hello, Julia. <laughs> okay. Galaxy A30, what is your name? Identify. <laughs> yeah, show me your Dewey. <laughs> you need to unmute yourself. Hello? Hi. All right. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very good. Nice. Good, thank you. My name is my name is Walter Guerrero. Walter. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Walter. Okay. Uh, I work as an engineer uh, in a company company on in Soyapango City, and I am married. And Hello. and so I. I am uh, 48 Hello. years old. No, sorry, I don't have it. So I, I am a person uh, uh, that funny. Uh, uh, I'm a good person. <laughs> OK, good. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, came on time two days ago because for, uh, for the traffic. OK. The traffic, traffic are a lot. All right, good. We are connected so, today and yeah. that counts a lot. All right, welcome yeah, okay. to the class. Yeah. Welcome to the class. Okay, All right, thank just, you. Just, just remember that uh, instead of having Galaxy A30S, your name should appear because that's how InsaForb identifies each person in the group. So oh, okay. uh, it, it's okay for today, but tomorrow when you return, try to uh, make sure that your name appears. Okay. All right, good. I'm going to try, okay. All right, good, very good, welcome. All right, so welcome back everybody, Irenia, Wendy, Julia, Oscar. Um, what is today's date? What's today's date? The 24th. The 24th. Tuesday the 24th. Yes, so if today is the 24th, what date was yesterday? The 23rd. 23rd. What is tomorrow? 25th. 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 Friday. Okay. okay, so tomorrow is Friday the 25th, right. How do you say pasado mañana in English? I think it is the day after day tomorrow. After tomorrow. Yes, the tomorrow. day after tomorrow. The okay. Tomorrow. Okay, how do you say anteayer? The day before, the day before yesterday. Today. The day before yesterday. Very good. Yesterday. All right, good. So yes, it's uh, September 24th, 2020. Uh, briefly, let's talk about the topics we covered yesterday. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Uh, reported yeah. speech. Reported speech. Okay. What is the meaning of reported speech? When do we use that? Anybody? When you are reporting say, something that someone said or okay. state. Yes. The name is literal. Yeah. When you are reporting something that someone else stated, something that someone else said, something that someone else wrote and you're telling a new person about this information. So how many tenses are there in English? 12. 12, 12 is correct. So there are 12, there are 12 tenses in English. Do you remember the name of some of these uh, 12 tenses? 
simple mm -hmm. present, simple past, da, da, pa, da, pa, pa. past uh, so, past tense. Okay, so if I say, I broke my arm when I was a kid, which tense is that? Simple, simple past. past. Simple, simple past. past. What if I tell you I'm visiting a doctor on Saturdays? Which tense Future. is that? Past continues. I'm visiting a doctor on Saturdays. Uh, present, present continues. continues. Present, present continues. continues. What if I told you I, I have seen you before? I have seen you before. Uh, past perfect. Present perfect. Past perfect. Present, present perfect. perfect. What present if perfect. I tell you I will go to the park this weekend? Future. 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 What if I tell you I will be preparing lunch for my family? Future. Future continues. Future continues. What if Future. I tell you uh, in one hour we will have finished this class? In one hour we will have finished this class. Future perfect. Future perfect. Future perfect. Very good. What if I tell you I have been saving money? Perfect. Perfect. I have been saving money. Past perfect continue. Present, Present perfect, perfect continue. continue. Present, Present perfect, perfect, continue. perfect continue. Very good. Perfect so we have, we have 12 tenses and we have like four or five more. So the idea is that you guys get uh, very familiar with the 12 tenses. So when you're having a conversation with a person that doesn't speak Spanish, you make a combination of the 12 tenses simultaneously, spontaneously, without thinking, without analyzing it, and just use the language naturally. Okay, so we have a, uh, we will continue talking about the reported speech today. Uh, what else did we do yesterday? What were the other topics? Who remembers? Do you take notes while you are in class? I remember that we work on listening. Okay, we had a listening activity. Do you remember the information in the listening? In the first one, I think it was a teacher with a mom. Right. And what was your mission? What were you supposed to do with that listening? What were you supposed to identify? Understand who was talking. Exactly. Understand who was talking. Exactly. Very good. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No. No? Okay. So let's begin with the first activity, which is a review about the um, um, reported speech. Let me show you this document. Can, can you see the document? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So color yellow represents the original structure that the person used when they were talking. Color red represents the structure that you will use when you report the previous information. So if I say, I have five children, what did Francisco say? That he had. Very good. Francisco five said children. that he had five children. So once again, color yellow represents the original structure that the person used. Color red is the one you will use when you will report this information. So I give you the example. I have five kids. So maybe you were watching television or you were doing something else and he says, hey, what did Francisco say? Oh, he said that he had five kids. So from the simple present, I transferred that information to the simple past. Present continues, I go to past continues, simple past, I go to past perfect, and so on. Um, any questions about the part that we have in color yellow or color red? No. No? no? Okay. Fine. Okay, so um, you say, I must go to the clinic. 
how do you transfer that information to the uh, to reported speech? I must go to the clinic. He said he had to go to the clinic. Very good. Nice. Let me let me look for your group so I can send you this image. You guys will be I will send it to you in two parts. The first one is going to be just the tenses, the structures, and then the second part will be your exercise. So what you need to do, you go one by one, use the first part to, um, to know which structure you need to use. Uh, are the instructions clear? Yeah. Okay. So let me assign you and here we go. Así que del hotel, qué bueno. Eric, can you hear me? Hi. Hello, how are you today? I am very well, thank you, and you? Okay, we're doing okay, thank you. Okay, let me see, Irene. Okay, Irene, you're going to be working in room three with uh, Eric and Wendy. So discuss the, the exercise. Okay. I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, I, I sent them the message already. Hello? All right, now, now it's better. Okay. okay, which number are you guys doing right okay. now? Okay. Hello. Yes, we will start with the first one. Okay, very good. Go ahead. I think that he or she. I think that we are using a reported speech. Okay. So we right. can we can write he or she. He has to go to the clinic. Yeah, if the original he statement doesn't mention he or she, you can use whatever subject uh you feel better with okay thank mm -hmm. you okay okay Selva. Mm -hmm. she you said that she had to go when uh -huh. she had to go to the clinic yeah but the verb is always in, in present. No, it's in past. Which one? In that one, because- uh, Which number? The combination, the number one. Okay, I must go to the clinic. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh, uh go ahead. Uh, Diana said, when you use a uh, must, you need to use has to. Have to, have to. exactly, have yes. Uh-huh, but at the verb, the verb is present. Yes. In continuous in present. Exactly. So the original sentence says, I must go to the clinic. What did Sarah said? She said she had to go to the clinic. So it stays okay. in present. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the number two, we will go to the beach. 
We will go okay. again. You use wool. Mm -hmm. okay. So you say they, mm -hmm. because it's we is they. They. Mm -hmm. There is two for correct for or which it's number are you doing? For number one. Okay, I must go to the clinic. How do you report that information? Uh, you told me you had to go to the clinic. Right. Yes. So from must, you go to had to. Have been. So if the original structure, the person is using must, when you report that information, you have to change to had to. Oh, uh, had to. Yes. I had to the clinic. I had to go to the clinic. To go to the clinic. And the second, and we have, no. Uh, which one? The, uh, okay, we will go to the beach. The second, and we have go to the, the beach or not? Okay, uh, the sentence is, uh, we will go to the beach. According to the explanation in the chart, what do you change will for? Um, Would, exactly. <laughs> so imagine that I tell my family, hey, we will go to the beach. And then my son was not paying attention and he says, what did he say? Oh, he said that we would go to the beach. So I said, vamos a ir a la playa. ¿Qué dijo él? Que iríamos a la playa. So there is a change in terms of structure. Ah. You see okay. the difference? Yes. Okay. Yes. I understand. Thank you. Good. Very good. Okay. We will. We will. We. Said she broke her leg again. The reported speech could be she has broken her leg again. Yep, broken. that's right. Yeah. She has broken yeah. her leg again. Yeah. She has broken, okay. okay. No, 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 she has broken. Has, in the has. past. Mm -hmm. In the past, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because the original sentence is in the simple past. So you okay. have to change it to something different. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. For this is the work is perfect too. Which one are you doing? Number three. Okay, he has worked all week. Yes, that is present perfect. And always ah, present said. perfect. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I, I, mm -hmm. I saw. I thought it was like past perfect or something like that. No, he has worked all week. Él ha trabajado toda la semana. Right. Exactly. Present perfect. So, so we have to use. Uh -huh. So Past which? Perfect. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So he said he had worked. Exactly. He said he had worked all week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Very good. I need to study these sentences because I don't recognize them by its name. Okay, when we finish this we have to practice. Yeah, when we finish this yeah. exercise, we will have a review about um, three tenses. So you okay. guys refresh your memories, uh, which is which. Okay, thank you. Did you finish uh, the exercise already? Yeah, yes, yes we, we did. We're done. Okay, good. Let me visit yeah. one more room and then we go back to the main session. Okay. okay. He said he, he has had work. He has been work at four weeks. No, no. Uh, being is only for past perfect. He, uh, okay. he, he, he said that he has worked all mm. week. How? Okay, he has worked all week. Which tense is that? Number three. Yeah, but which tense? What is the tense? Or pass. No, it's he has worked. El, 
Él el ha trabajado toda la semana. semana. Ajá. So which ah. tense is that? He how he how well or with? Okay. He had, he had. Okay, but what is the name present, of the tense? Present perfect. Present perfect, exactly. So from present perfect, you change to mm, past perfect. Past perfect. So the only thing you need to do right there is change has for had. He said he had worked all week. He has. Right. So the only difference between present perfect and past perfect is the auxiliary that you use. Everything else stays the same. Um, so how do you say no he leído el periódico? I, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't read the newspaper. I haven't read the newspaper. Very good. How do you say no había leído el periódico? You only change have for had. So you say, I hadn't read the newspaper. I hadn't, yeah. Right. So we'll be talking about uh, each tense in particular so you guys get familiarized on, on, on how to use them. Okay. All right. We had been going. We have been the going. Teacher will, mm -hmm. And the five one. Oh, we, we have say, been going. Okay, we were going uh -huh. at 90 we, kilometers per hour. Which tense is that? It's simple. Uh, past continuous. Past continuous, right. So according to the rule, you go from past continuous to which tense? Past perfect continuous. Right. Perfect continuous. Uh-huh. So what would be the correct answer? We said that we had been going at 90 kilometers per hour. Exactly. That is the answer. Good, very good. So you have three more to go, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Yes. All right. Okay. Hello, teacher. <laughs> you guys finished um, yes. Yes, everything? Teacher, yes. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank All right. You. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about uh, the exercise you guys just finished? No, I think no. Uh, Vilma, we cannot hear you. We can't finish the answers or the sentences. Okay, which number were you doing? Um, number four. 
Oh, you guys were doing number four. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions about the four uh, exercises you guys finished? Yes, I have. I have some some doubts. Okay. What are you, okay. What are the doubts, Vilma? And how to change or how to use the 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 correct verb when in a sentence. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, can you see the, the document? Uh -huh, but for example, it's very confused for me or or very difficult to, uh -huh. to change the sentences and what verb okay. I can use or how we can okay. use. Yes, and, and that's the reason why we will start having a review about each tense in particular. Because the, the chart is easy to understand. You go, okay, simple present, I go to simple past, past continuous, blah, blah. So the question is, what is the form or the structure that you use in each particular tense? So that's a very good observation. Okay. Uh, any questions about this exercise class uh, before we, we go to the, to the review of the first two tenses? I have a question. Yes, Vilma. Uh, with the first one, uh -huh. um, I can't use or I don't know the meaning for must. Okay. Uh -huh. Must is when something is mandatory. It's not optional. So I must, must go to the clinic. Debo ir a la clinica. So when, you, so when you say debo, it's not optional. Maybe you have some uh, strong pain and you tell uh -huh. in your family, hey, I must go to the clinic. Okay. Has to check me. Yes. Okay. I understand. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Very good. All right. Anybody else has any other comments or questions? No. Okay. So let's begin with the two easiest uh, tenses, which is the simple present and the present continuous. Um, when you talk about general information, you use the simple present tense. Uh -huh. When you go to a job interview, people tell you, they ask you, uh, tell me about yourself. And they said, oh, my name is Francisco. I'm 49 years old. I'm married. I have five children. I live in Lourdes, blah, blah. So when I'm giving general information about something, somebody, an institution, an animal, whatever, you always use the simple present tense to talk about actions in general. Okay. When you use the present continuous, can someone tell me when to use the present continuous? When the action is happening. Exactly. So that is the main difference. Simple present is to talk about information in general that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And the present continuous is when you're talking about an action that is in progress, an action uh -huh. that is going on at the time you're speaking. So those are the two main differences between the simple present and the present continuous. Any questions so far? Okay, so what is the auxiliary that people use to make questions in the simple present? Do. Do or does. Do or does. So remember, you use do or does to talk about actions. If you talk about conditions, you have to use verb to be. So mm -hmm. you say, it is very cold. It is very cold. Está frío. So is it an action or a condition? A, a, condition. a condition. A condition. So I have to say, it is cold. Now, if I'm calling somebody in another country uh, and I see this person wearing a jacket or a big sweater, I will say, is it cold there? So once mm -hmm. again, if you're talking about actions, you're gonna have to use auxiliary do and does. If mm -hmm. you're talking about conditions, you have to use am, is, or are. Okay. All right, any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No? So mm -hmm. do you remember your first English class in whatever academy where you were? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember that the book you were using, Top Notch, Interchange, Step by Step, whatever the name is, um, the first tense 
that people see is either simple present or the present continuous, one of the two. So they are very common and they're very popular when people use the language. So that's basically everything you guys should know about the present simple or simple present or the present continuous or present progressive. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Now, if we talk about the simple past, uh, when you talk about positive information, what is the form of the verb? Mm, positive information. Yes. So if, if I want to say, uh, fui al parque hoy, how will you say that in English? I went to the park. I went to the park. I went to the park. So what is the form of the verb that you use when you're saying positives in the simple past? Verb to be, verb to be, in park. I went to the park. What is the form of the verb? Simple past. It's in the simple past, exactly. It's in the simple past. Now, how do you make the following question? Fuiste al parque. Did you go to the park? Did you go to the park? Uh huh. How do you say no tuve tiempo? I don't have time. No tuve tiempo. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. Very good. So once again, when you're confirming something, when the information is positive, the form of the verb is always in the simple past. When the information, uh, if you're making a question, you have to use, did you eat, did you visit, did you call? And the form of the verb stays a uh, base form. Yes, when you're making a question. Now, when the information is negative, you use auxiliary didn't, and also the form of the verb stays base form as well. Any questions about the simple past tense? No. Okay, so let me show you a new share. Okay, I see this here. Okay, do you guys see the document? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there you have two examples. The first two examples are already uh, made for you. Let me see, where is this group? Ha, 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 H9, okay. So the original information is in the simple present. Your mission is to transfer that information to the simple past. So using all the information you guys were sharing, um, you have to complete exercises from three to 14. Let me reorganize um, room five, room five. And then I will exchange with him. I will exchange with her. She will exchange with her. And that is it. So are the instructions clear, class? Yeah. Could you repeat yes. again, please? Uh, yes, my pleasure. Um, you have to transfer the, the questions and the sentences that you see the, here. You have to transfer uh -huh. them to the simple past. Okay. So number one and number two are examples. He goes to bed early. How do you transfer that to the past tense? He went to bed he early. Went. We don't uh -huh. like onions. We didn't like onions. So the only thing you need to okay. do is transfer the information to the to the simple, simple past. Simple. Exactly. Okay, I got it now. All right, very it. good. Nice. Let's do this. Okay, thank you. Sure.
Yes. Uh, my name my name is Walter. Walter. Hi Walter. Walter. I share with you the screen and we working in there. Okay, Nanwit. Yes. I, I had the, the, the screen, yes. Okay. Let me the screen. Walter. Walter, are you in the WhatsApp chat already? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. All right, good, good. Just wanted to confirm that you were already there. No, teacher. No what? In the WhatsApp group, I, I am not. Uh, you're, you're not in the WhatsApp chat? No. Okay. Yes, uh, yes I confirm, I am not. Okay, so remember that Inglés Corporativo sent you an email with different links. Uh, one of those links is uh, what you need to click so you have uh, access to the WhatsApp chat. So when we finish the class, check your email uh, where they give you different uh, links. Click on the one that says WhatsApp and you're automatically added to the group. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's very simple to do. All right. She exercise. And five. I hate, I hate it. To, I don't know. I'm not sure. I hate it. To, I hate it. Cooking. What is the what yeah. is the simple pass of hate? Hate it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hate, hate it. it. Hate it. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds like weird. I don't like how it sounds. Yeah, but that's the correct pronunciation. Hate it. Ah, hate it? Okay. Okay, yep. hate it. Yeah. Hate it. Okay. Yeah. That's a okay, nice today. map you have behind you, Eric. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, the, the, map the map that you have. You. Maps yes. are cool. Maps are cool. Yes. All right. Okay, let's continue. They play video games. Yes. And number 11, uh, Jenny works at a, at a hotel. Jenny worked at a hotel. Okay. Number 12, do you swim? In passes, did you swim? Which yes. number? Number 12. Number 12 says, uh, do you swim? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What is the past is form of that question? Did you swim? Did you swim? Good. In, no. in, current, uh, in current, I mean, normally, I will attend uh, one shift, one eight hours shift per day. So I would I would have to I would have to come here um, how to say once per day and complete eight hours. Okay. But so, now, mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. So, go ahead, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go your ahead, shift. We just your, so your shift are are eight hours exactly, Oscar. Normally, normally I I take uh, eight hours shift uh, per day in order to complete forty four hours uh, per week. A week, okay. Like a, a week, like uh, like like the Código Trabajo says. Right. But due to this due to this pan pandemic pandemic times, uh huh. Uh, we have to attend twenty four hours and then rest for for four days or five days maybe. Oh, okay. So, but are you working the 44 hours already? Uh, I'm, I'll be finished uh, tomorrow by 6 a.m. You finish your shift at 6 a.m. tomorrow? Aha, uh -huh, I will tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay. All right. Yeah, 24 hours. It's, that's it's not that bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, 24 hours is acceptable, especially if you go to your house to rest three or four days. It's, it's not bad. Uh huh. It's not that, and and also the the work is not uh, it's not a physical job. I mean, uh, 
Okay. You get uh, tired, but but uh, mentally tired. Exactly. Sometimes. Exactly. But you have the some break, uh, breaking. You have break uh, hours. Okay. In some breaking time to 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 walk or to or, or to sleep. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, and, and you have to be fully concentrated when you're doing your job. Uh -huh, pay attention. Uh, they call it like sit situational awareness. Uh -huh. It's a it's a it's a word for it's a term for 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 that attention for that for the uh, you have to pay attention and you have to be aware of of the the things that are going on. Exactly. No distractions. Exactly. Exactly. No distractions. Mm -hmm. All right. And how many people work in your mm -hmm. area, Oscar? Um, yeah, this is the control tower in El, in Comalapa. Okay. We are about, let me see, we have maybe 22, 22 people. people. Okay. 22 people. Uh -huh. and, and we attend, uh, uh, no, let me check, five, five persons per shift. Okay. Uh, right. Five person per chief attend uh, and give the service. And at night, there is in the night shift, uh, there is there is just uh, two two people. Two All right. All right. Good. Good. Jose, are you still working in the same place? Yes, I'm working on the front balloon. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. What, so what do they do there, Jose? Well, in my work, I on a, on a schedule on the merchandiser. I work in a planning area for a maquila. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. in a planning area. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see. All right. Go ahead, teacher. All right, let's go to the main session. Something important when you're using the simple past tense is the ED pronunciation when you're using regular verbs. So yeah. it's not leave it, it's not work it, it's not uh, help it. You know, there are three particular sounds. Okay, volunteer for number three. Mm -hmm. Stuart lived, lived in Vancouver. Yes, Stuart lived in Vancouver. Very good. What about number four? Does she exercise? Did she exercise? Did she exercise? Very good. What about number five? I hate cooking. I hated cooking. I hated cooking. Excellent. They play video games. They played video games. They played. 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 played, played, played with the D sound, played. Yeah. They played. played video games, very good. He knows the answer. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. Mm -hmm. I forget his name. I forgot his name. Forget very his good. Name. They don't study history. They didn't study history. They didn't study history. Mm -hmm. Do they drive? Did they drive? Did they drive? They drive. Jenny works at a hotel. Any work at a hotel. Work. Any work at a hotel. At a hotel. Yes. Do you swim? Did you swim? Did you swim? Did you swim? Thirteen. We don't like the movie. We didn't, we didn't like, like the movie. movie. Uh huh. And fourteen. Where do you live? Where did you live? Where did you live? Exactly. Okay, so how do you say fuimos al, ba al lago a bañarnos? We went to the, we went to the lake to, to swim. Take a show. <laughs> now remember, take a show. If, <laughs> if, if you are in your house, you take a shower, you take yes. a bath. 
But you know, like when we say bañarse, maybe you're playing with water, maybe you're swimming a little bit. <clears throat> so how do you ask the question, y te bañaste? Fíjese que fuimos a los, a, a los chorros, y te bañaste. How do you say that? And did you get into the water? No. <laughs> it, it could be, it could be. Okay, so the right word is bathe. Bathe. How it, it applies say again? for it applies Bath. for pools, the beach, Baño, but. rivers, okay. uh, ocean, lakes, anything where there is water. And if you make contact with the water, maybe you're playing, maybe you're swimming, whatever, you say, Did you bathe? Te bañaste. Okay. Ah. Yeah. And the past is bathed. Yes, bathed. I bathed. Yes, yes okay. I bathed. Yes, okay. I bathed. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Any Sorry, I I yeah. can get it. Did you say bait or bathe? No, bathe. Bathe. Spell bathe. it for me, please. Sorry, it's not uh, my connection. Yeah. It's, it's right there in the chat. B-A-T-H-E. Okay. Uh -huh. It comes bath. from bath. Uh -huh, from bath. Similar to bath. It's a bath, bath but bathe is, uh, is the, uh, okay. it's the verb. It's the verb. It's it's the verb. The verb. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. In base read. Hardly ever uh, that. But it's a, that is okay. a new word for me. Thank you. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Any questions or comments? No. No? Okay. So we have reviewed the simple present, simple past, and the present continuous. Now it's time to change the topic. It's going to be a a free topic so you guys can improve your fluency and accuracy. Let me do, okay. So let me exchange this person with him. I will exchange this person with her. I will exchange her and I will exchange this person here. So I will send you a, a set of questions for you to uh, discuss and practice your fluency and your accuracy. Let me show you the, the image. Share. It's right here. If you can take a screenshot, that'll be good. Do you see the questions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> can you um can you take Did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. So um work in pairs and answer those questions. It's related with meat. All right, so breakout rooms. Here we go. Mom. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Galaxy. So Walter and Diana, Hello? you guys are going to be working together. Okay. Good evening. Walter. Okay. okay. Or, a, or a burger. What about you, uh, Wendy? The same. <laughs> the same. Uh, I I think in a in a, in a in a in a hamburger. In, in Wendy's, maybe. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Wendy and Wendy's, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Good. How about you, Norma? The same, the hamburger or the subway. Okay. Okay, number, number two. Do humans need to eat meat? 
For me, yes, I knew. <laughs> me too. I like the meat. I I think that I couldn't be vegan because I think the meat is a I don't know. It's, it's delicious, and I liked the meat a lot. For me, it's necessary. It's, um, three, 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 three times. Three times. A week. Three times. Three times a, a week. A week. Okay. week. A that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Yes. Yeah, it's that's a lot, lot of meat. Yeah. I, I eat meat once a week, or yeah. sometimes twice, because uh, in the on the weekend we. We usually prepare a, I don't know how to say. A barbecue? A uh -huh, barbecue, but. Grilled? It's not the same as parrillada. Grilled. A grill. Okay. Okay. Do you cook, Irenia? Yes, I do. Nice. I Very yeah. good. And I, I was saying to Eric that I, I think about a celebration or a family meeting. Uh -huh. When I hear the word meat, because okay. it's the most common dish that we prepare when we get together. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to prepare. Yeah. Okay. You just have to start in it and put it on the grill. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Because you can, you you can, can get protein. Well, maybe. You can get proteins from other uh, like seeds, like frijoles or or uh, green peas no no green peas green like beans chickpeas uh, no 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 how do you say garbanzos uh peas peas just peas yeah peas uh, okay 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 but i think may maybe it's not necessary to eat uh, meat to get proteins i was telling my uh to irene that i have a emotional emotional conflict because sometimes I want to stop to eating meat. Okay. But I know it's delicious, but <laughs> I don't want to animals uh, get killed to my in order to feed me. I, okay. I don't know. It's an emotional conflict. So okay. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's delicious at the same time. It is. Know. It is. Yeah. I love I red know. meat. Me too. I love the barbecues. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want to see the the animal you know, live, a live animal. I, I don't know. I just want to to see my 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 dish with the meat there, but I don't want to see the animal. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. A mouse, you know the the, the computer mouse. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is really small. That is really small. So. For me, it's, it's healthy to eat meat, but in the in the right proportion, I mean the right amount. Oh. And I think it depends on how you prepare the, the, the meat, because if you only prepare with salt or, or onions or I don't know, it's, more, it's healthier than if you prepare with a lot of species. Like, I don't know. Spices? Uh, spices? Uh, spices? Or I don't know other uh, other things that are unhealthy. Okay. Yes, I am agree. It also, we need to get, uh, have a balance, as, as um, Oscar mentioned. Because in in my case, I organize my my diet for the week, and I put two days to per week the meat, uh, two days a uh, chicken, one day to fish, and one day to 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 vegetable, and another day for the 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 past or the pasta. spaghetti. Okay. Uh -huh, pasta or spaghetti. If All you right. make a balance, you in during the week you you take a a, a less uh, portion for 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 meat. Yeah. Okay. Fish is delicious. I love barbecues. Yeah, yeah, barbecues are really cool. I I love the, the steaks, the barbecues. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and the and the yeah. barbecues. I love doing that. I'm not. 
Yeah, in the barbecues uh -huh. they usually go with beer, you know. That, that. <laughs> so in the uh, US, okay, so yeah, in the uh -huh. US it's normal, you know, like because houses are kind of big, they have a front yard, a backyard. It's normal uh -huh. to have a barbecue and and people are drinking. Yeah, usually, it usually too. happens. Yeah, here too. Here too. You're right. All right. Wow. Hello, hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the main session. I was alone. All right, good. You won't be alone anymore. Well, I'll send you all the classmates with you. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, teacher. Like, most, most, mm -hmm. most, uh-huh, an, an Arabic Muslim. person. Mm -hmm. Muslim. Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Muslim. Okay. Muslim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Maybe you had the chance to finish all the questions. Maybe you didn't. No. Um, do you have any questions about today's class? No. 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 no teacher. Okay. It was, it was interesting. Very good, very good. So remember that this week is a little bit unusual because classes are from Tuesday to Friday. So we still have classes tomorrow. Beginning next week, classes will start from Monday through Thursday. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. You guys have a good night. Okay, good Thank night. You, Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.